Contingent facts about scientists and about the community in which they operate will inevitably affect their theorizing. Scientific theories don't just emerge automatically, right? That was the view from the scientific revolution. Scientific theories don't emerge automatically from pristine data indisputable. Rather, it's just not the case that following the scientific method, everyone and anyone would see the exact same things and draw the exact same lessons from the experiment. Recently, in the coronavirus crisis, we saw this. We saw this happen over and over, where scientists looking at the same sorts of data were making different kinds of claims. We heard that masks were effective, then they were ineffective, then they were effective again, and so forth. We also heard that asymptomatic carriers, people that weren't showing symptoms, that they could spread it, and then they couldn't spread it, and now they can again, and it gets rather confusing. One way to help explain that sort of thing is to realize that there's a larger context in which we're all operating that affects the way we view the data. It isn't just the data that determine our theories. To describe this, philosophers of science have come up with a term. They call it underdetermination. The idea is that our theories are always underdetermined by the data or by the facts. That is, the facts alone never ultimately mandate our theories and force us to believe them. Rather, we sometimes have a sea of conflicting data and many different theories could be compatible with the exact same data set. So it isn't just the evidence then that drives our theories. The received view has been missing a human element.